All right, so let's talk about how to find the, the, the confidence interval for 8.2.15. Um, so the assumptions must be random. The sample size, the number of success, and number of failure must be at least 15. So those are already there. Um, and to find the 95% confidence interval of what are we even looking at? Let's see. So um, 14... 09, 1,409 of uh, 1,498 subjects said yes. So we're looking at the proportion of people who said yes, right? So, um, yeah, I guess you can read that part, but uh, we're, we're finding a confidence interval to estimate the population proportion. I'm looking at the sample proportion right here. So, um, my, my, my math lab, and at this point, any confidence interval or significance test. I'm just going to do them on stat crunch. So let me do that. All right, so go to stat, go to proportion stat. Because we're trying to estimate population proportion, and we have one sample, and we have, I guess we, we have summary, right? We can give them the summary, because um, for data, it will be when we actually enter a whole bunch of numbers in uh, variable one or variable two. So we have summary, and let's see what we have. Let me go ahead and get this tab out so that I can click on the problem. So the number of success. How many of them said yes? Uh, 1409. And number of observations, 1498. Um, it was a total number. And we're creating a confidence interval for what? P. 95%. So go ahead and click on compute. And here we go. This is how you compute a um, confidence interval. So we are going to say we are 95% confident that the interval from point 0, 0.9 to 9, rounded up to three decimal places, to 0.953, and I think those are the answers, yes, contain the population proportion who said yes. So that's how you can create a confidence interval using StatCrunch.